Joining me now in studio is Burlington's MPP, Jane McKenna. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm looking forward to the conversation. Yes, and first off, having you in here, um, you have been quite busy. There's so much changes happening. We've just heard a lot about the budget. So why don't you first talk to us about some of the major changes uh, that we are seeing across the province at this time? Yeah, so I think there's been many changes. It's been very fast and uh, obviously fluid with all the things that are happening. I think the reality is it's been 15 years that we, you know, have spent money very recklessly and the good people of Ontario want to make sure that we get our fiscal house in order. So, you know, just right now, just off the top, right now we're spending $40 million more a day than we take in. That's not sustainable anymore. So we needed to make some changes, we need to continue to make changes, and we need to do what's best for the good people of uh, Burlington and Ontario. And now you have a few roles uh, mm -hmm. as well. So can you talk to us a bit about um, each role that you have uh, with the province yeah. and some of the projects that you've been working on? Yeah, so I mean, it's been a great opportunity. As I was saying earlier, in 2011 to 2014, I was opposition. Mm -hmm. And that was a wonderful experience as well. And then went back to the uh, private sector again and loved every second of that. Decided to run and, uh, you know, I, I obviously won and so it's been great I um, when I first got in I actually ran for speaker and that was a wonderful opportunity I always think it's great to challenge yourself in different avenues and we have a wonderful speaker in uh, uh, Ted Arnott and he's been there obviously 29 years and he was deputy speaker before and you know I was thrilled that he got the opportunity mm -hmm. from there I was given uh, a great opportunity to be the chair of the legislative assembly so what that is is it's like a mini speaker in the house right so it's everything to do with the legislature um, on our committee and so that's great watching that unfold and learning from that because obviously I've not been a speaker before so having this role has opened my eyes and a good learning experience from that and then in November I was made parliamentary assistant to the Ministry of Labor which is Laurie Scott um, and that's been absolutely phenomenal so that was a great opportunity for myself so in January when I went to um, uh, Minister Scott I asked her you know what she thought my mandate should be and she said you know Jane let's look at uh, um, inspection enforcement and so I did so I traveled from one end of the uh, one of the province obviously to the other and we saw all different kinds of sectors, whether it was mining, um, construction, contractors. I mean, we went from one sector to the next. We went to Chamber of Commerce, businesses, and we just went actually to find out, you know, how we could make their life easier. I'll tell you, everyone that we sat down and talked to at, you know, at least probably 150 different uh, uh, sectors, they mm -hmm. all said the same thing. They were grateful to have the opportunity. Um, to sit at a table because they felt that their voices hadn't been heard in 15 years. So that was very, very positive. And then we were trying to figure out for them how we could make life easier for them for occupational health and safety. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they got back to us each, obviously, uh, round table that we did. And now um, we're just wrapping up right now. So I think the beginning of June, I will um, obviously do my recommendations, the letters of all the things that the uh, good people have said of what they're looking for um, to do best practices with uh, inspection reviews for enforcements. And then I will uh, present that to uh, Minister uh, Scott. And then, you know, we'll go from there and see what happens with that. Okay. And when we're talking about, obviously, labor and, and the changes that are, uh, of course, coming to Ontario, and locally looking at jobs and uh, some of the transitions, now we know one of the hot topics was about our uh, teacher board. Um, mm -hmm. can, you, can you talk to us a bit about that and some of the concerns, or maybe clear up some of the concerns about jobs? Yeah, so I think first of all, I, since we've been in, we don't create jobs, we create the environment for jobs with policy and legislation. And, you know, I think as of to date, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's 175,000 new jobs that we've created, and in April alone, there was 47,000 new jobs. So, I mean, we're booming right now with what we've been doing, and that's all to the great work of um, the government and Premier Ford with all the things that they brought forward. I mean, if you don't create the environment for jobs, people go elsewhere. And we, we've learned over and over again with the high rates of, of hydro, we weren't making it conducive for people to stay here and people were leaving 
you know, left, right, and center. And we need to create an environment so for the next generation, for your beautiful daughter, that they have an opportunity to have a life here that they deserve, right? And we need to turn that around, and we are doing that in the process right now. Fantastic. And last question quickly, I know one of the other things that uh, has been on the table is talking about amalgamation. These mm -hmm. words that we're seeing in Burlington and as well as in Oakville. Can you talk to us about uh, this concept and maybe clear some of the air on it as well? Yeah, so you know I mean there's you know we've gone out numerous times to say that we were doing line by line audit on everything. We need to. It's our responsibility to do that for the hard you know the taxpayers of Ontario and Burlington obviously and we wanted to make sure that um, when we did the line by line that we were looking at all the efficiencies that were there. So, you know, we, we've, we've done that, uh, we're continuing to do that, and um, we're going to make sure that we, uh, um, you know, obviously find uh, um, the municipalities and the boards to be able to do that as well. But when you're talking about amalgamation, I'm sorry I digressed there for a minute, when you're talking about amalgamation, we've never once come out to talk about amalgamation in Burlington. I've said numerous times uh, out in public and obviously in the news that, um, you know, where regional governments needs to be looked at. That's what we ran our mandate on. We've said that time and time again. And we want to make sure that when we're looking at that, it hasn't been looked at here in 46 years. Hmm. And so for the, you know, for, for Burlington, we need to make sure that we're finding efficiencies there. And we've got two great people in uh, Ken Sealing and um, Michael, um, gone totally blank right now. Um, but anyway, uh, it's, they've done a phenomenal job. I know they were here. They've been here doing consultations, yep. and uh, I think people are thrilled that they've come. They've got you know wonderful ears that they've been listening to. Not everybody's a cookery cutter, as you know, and you know Burlington obviously is unique in the fact that 50% of our uh, lands are green belt, and we want to reserve that and make sure that those are preserved. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for joining us here today. And again, for anyone who is in the Burlington area, you can contact Jane as well. You, uh, you're here, I guess, this week. Yes, I am. It's my so, constituency week. <laughs> fantastic. And for more information, they can contact you by email. Yes, they can. They can contact at jane.mckenna at pc.ola.org. Or they can go to our website, which is jane.mckenna.mpp.ca.